Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negolescu and you know me for a lot of um, automation with UiPath. We have the Salesforce connector, ServiceNow connector, Jira, Confluence and so on. Today we'll talk about Salesforce and in Salesforce you have a process for approval. So here inside of Salesforce you can do some actions and you can have a third party that approval, another colleague and so on and so on. Now, the target is how you do this via REST API, how you do this with the connector and so on. So the approval process you have to configure, you have uh, here. Um, so this is stuff for internal uh, uh, admin of Salesforce. Yeah? So they will configure the approval process how they want. But our target, the target for the automation, it's how we do this via REST API. Yeah? So uh, here you have the, um, the documentation of Salesforce. Where you will see that uh, this approval will basically will be something like this. So basically you will go a comment to services, data, version, action, standard, submit. Yeah. So these are the, the way how you approve this, uh, um, this stuff. Yeah. So basically you have to provide him a comment. It's optional. So mandatory it's you have to provide the object ID that it's uh, for approval. Then you have optionally a lot of stuff. So let's understand how we'll do this inside of the uh, the connector that I built. So uh, uh, inside of uh, the connector, the Salesforce. So you know that I have the um, uh, this one, Salesforce application, uh, uh, Salesforce Lightning platform, or Salesforce extension, uh, extension package. These are my connectors. So inside of my connectors, uh, let's understand how we'll send this command and what will be the format of this command. And then we'll do the same stuff on the REST API, raw REST API. You know that I have a lot of videos with raw REST API and I'm a fan of raw REST API to be able to, uh, for you to control everything, yeah? So now uh, in, inside of the connector, we'll do it like this. Basically we'll have the, uh, uh, the application scope. We configure the application scope to connect to my uh, Salesforce with, uh, with um, consumer key, consumer secret password, security, username, and so on. Test the connection. We have a good connection. And now to be able to send this command, we will do an um, um, send rest API. So here, basically if you uh, search for send rest api inside of the salesforce connector you have uh, send the rest command yeah so you have this uh, send rest command and with this send rest command basically what you have to provide you see that by default he's coming with service data 48 that was um, the version that i implement you can go here and change the version if you want to put your own version you can put your also your own version but, well the version doesn't matter so much then you'll put your um, your last part. The last part here for the command is action standard submit. Yeah, so basically I complete here with the action standard submit. Now, on this one, basically I can put a file with JSON. So if I have a file outside of UiPath Studio, I can give him the address of the file and um, he will be able to, uh, to access that file or you can build the JSON here. In our case, we'll build the JSON here. Now, to be able to build the JSON, I will use the comment from visualbasic.net. Inside of my YouTube channel, you know that I have some videos dedicated how to build the JSON in, in visualbasic.net very fast and very, very simple. You have here multiple examples and you have um, um, with this build JSON and basically you have all uh, inside of this video, you have um, uh, also the code, yeah, with everything. But let's explain, let's explain on, on this one what um, uh, was the idea. So. Uh, let's go back and let's understand on the documentation what is the JSON. So on the documentation, we see that we need to provide him mandatory, the object ID, and you have to provide him other stuff optional. In my example, I say like this, I will provide him. So the this data should be on the inputs. Yeah, so you have to put inputs. And here inside of the inputs, you can put multiple objects. In our case, we'll put only one, one object. And inside of the object, I select to have these parameters. So I select to have the object ID parameter, which is mandatory. I put a comment and I put also a submitter ID. Let's say that uh, not the one that is running the robot will be the submitter. Maybe another person will be the submitter. So basically you can specify the ID of the, uh, the, the owner. If you don't specify, you can see that the current, uh, the current um, user will be, uh, will be the, uh, the owner, yeah? 
Now, uh, here, let's see, uh, the, here is our uh, uh, JSON. So it's uh, with uh, inputs and um, an array, and then uh, this is the object. So to be able to create it on, on the UI path, we will create the object, and then this object will put it on a list, and then we'll put it on the input. Let's see how we'll achieve this stuff. So first, I create a collection. I create a collection of objects. So you see here, it's a list of G object, and I initialize the list with new list G object. Now, in this list, I will add my object. My object means this part from here to here, yeah? So uh, here uh, in this one, I will add my object. Again, the object I will create it on the, um, using visualbasic.net. Yeah, and you can see, I say, uh, G object from object with, and I see, I put my keys with each object ID, content and submitted ID. And then I put my values here, yeah? And in this way, I create an object, yeah? A JSON object. So this JSON object, I put it inside of the list, and then when I send a comment to the, uh, 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 to the REST API, I will say like this, G object, new with key inputs. So basically I have this one, inputs. Okay, and uh, I will put G array from object list. I will put all this code as usual on the GitHub. So I will provide you on the, uh, on the doc, on, on the code of the on the description of the movie, you will have the code here on the GitHub in the same way that I provided to to the other. Uh, and basically, you just copy paste it from here. Yeah? Good. So in this way, I create my G object, and I will uh, the system will send the G object to the Salesforce system. I can run it, but you will see that I don't have that um, uh, um, IDs there. And because I don't have that uh, IDs there, uh, the system will say that is not able to. Um, to find the ID, you see, insufficient access cross for entity because I don't have that uh, uh, that uh, IDs. Yeah, the comment it's uh, it's good, but the Salesforce um, uh, tell me that I don't have the that IDs to be able to do uh, this stuff. Now, if you want to achieve the same thing via REST API, what we'll do? Remember that uh, on my YouTube channel here, on the uh, if you go to playlist, you have an uh, Let's go to the first one. Here you have uh, a, um, an HTTP. So basically you can see, um, uh, you can have multiple HTTP uh, example with uh, HTTP request. Let's go to playlist. And uh, there you have a lot of videos how to work with, uh, uh, with, um, uh, with HTTP request, yeah? And on these videos, you have a lot of videos on Salesforce, how to work with HTTP request on, on Salesforce. Look. Here you have the HTTP request, and here you have a lot of um, uh, a lot of videos how to work with uh, with Salesforce with the HTTP request. Yeah. So what I will do now, I will do on the um, on this one, I will do an HTTP request for authentication. Yeah. So for authentication, what I will do is I will put the login. Um, service out, uh, token to be able to get the authentication token. This will be a post. And here on the uh, on the parameters, I have to provide him the parameters that uh, uh, that I have for my instance. So I have to tell you that, that the grant type is password. The username is my username. The password is my password plus my security, uh, security token. Uh, then I have the client ID and I have the client secret, yeah? So these are the, the parameters. So after I provide these parameters, the system will return me a uh, JSON. I deserialize JSON to be able to use these components. Remember that you have to use um, um, web API. So you have to install this one, UiPath web API activities to be able to have the HTTP request um, uh, activity. After I get the... Uh, um, the access token that I get the JSON, I will build again, uh, I will build the, the JSON like I did the first time, the JSON object. And then I will do a HTTP request. And on this HTTP request, I will have this one. So the instance, after I did the authentication, I will get also the instance URL of uh, instance URL and I will use this one from JSON, I get the instance URL. Okay, I will be a post 
that will be a JSON. So I have to provide him it's a JSON. On the headers, I have to provide him the authorization. You see the authorization, it's that is JSON access token. So I get the access token uh, from the from the authentication and I use as a authorize. I here it's it's bad. It's um, it's um, beer space space plus access token. This is the correct one. Okay. And here I have I have to provide him the the JSON body, the same JSON body, it's here with um, um, G object, the key inputs um, uh, array from the list. Yeah, the same way that I create the, uh, the object, the same way that I create the JSON uh, in the component one, yeah? So in this way, this is the method how I send this, uh, how, how I send this approval process. So submit approval process via REST API. So you have the both, uh, the both methods, working with the uh, raw REST API or working with uh, the component and on the component, basically you just drag and drop this one and you give him the, the details and he will execute the, uh, uh, this uh, comment, yeah? So as usual, if you like my movies, I will share, I will share all the code with you on the uh, GitHub, all the visual basic code with creating the JSON. Um, if you like my movies, please come to my YouTube channel and um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell me what else comment on the on my videos and tell me what else you want to see uh, on my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Stay, uh, have a good one. Stay safe. Bye bye.